at the beginning of the year, everyone was like, you know, what are you, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? I was like, oh, I want to go up to Fairbanks, Alaska. And they were like, you know, what is wrong with you? Like, why? If you've been to UAF's Fairbanks campus at all in the last year, you've probably noticed a lot of construction. That construction has been completed and just in time for the start of the fall semester, which began today. Freshmen and new transfers arrived at UAF to find the end product of that construction and a renovated campus that will benefit all students. Adrian Peterson was up on the hill to learn more about the renovations and grab the reaction from this year's incoming class. UAF's Tropiata campus is bustling once again as students are moving in this week. This year they'll be back up in the Moore, Bartlett and Scarland dorms. Let's go up the hill and check it out. Newly renovated and ready for use, the Moore and Bartlett halls at UAF have been undergoing some significant construction over the last year. We had the opportunity to update the plumbing systems, so that doesn't sound super exciting, but with that we were able to upgrade our bathrooms to make uh, completely private shower rooms, toilet rooms, and two full ADA bathrooms per floor. There have been changes in other shared spaces as well. We moved the laundry room up to the main floor of Bartlett Hall and we were able to create this great open space here with a community kitchen and lounge area so that students can socialize while they're doing laundry and cooking. In the individual rooms, changes have included new floors, furniture, and lighting upgrades that allow the students more optimization. One of the incoming freshmen was skeptical when he first saw photos of the room online, but his doubts have been diminished. I remember the pictures had only like one desk over by the window over there and I was like, I have to be finding my roommate for the desk. Um, the beds look just uncomfortable and like small and I was like, am I going to be rolling off my bed and whatnot? But after walking in, I was, it's like the same size as my room back at home. So for me, it works amazing. I love it. The renovated rooms and social spaces may also remedy a recent setback in adolescent development. We can't deny that there was some disruption a few years ago with COVID and stuff. And for a lot of our students that are incoming freshmen, that was their, some of their key developmental years during high school. The new layouts could help foster new friendships and connections that have been lacking in the past. And there has been a lot of positivity on campus already. Everyone here has been super helpful, super amazing. Even the townspeople have been uh, great when I've been trying to get uh, gear for the winter. Um, I'm sure my roommate, I haven't met him yet, but he seems like a really great guy. Um, I'm happy to meet him. Everyone I've talked to uh, just in the halls and the people that helped me move just been super helpful. Whether or not the new layouts will help students remains to be seen, but with classes starting on August 26th, Fairbanks is likely to see lots of new faces for the fall semester. This is Adrian Peterson reporting for New Center Fairbanks. Thank you, Adrian. The renovations to the dorms cost about $32 million. Now, as families, friends, and freshmen took tours of the campus, they were also able to stop by a new space set apart from the dorms. While a stop at the Wood Center was a must for incoming students, the Elmer E. Rasmussen Library was another highlight of the tour. This location also saw construction last year, but it wasn't a renovation of bookshelves. Now the sixth floor of the library is the Student Success Center. It's been under construction for about 15 or 16 months. It's been under planning for about four years. We're so excited. I uh, converted the entire sixth floor of the Rasmussen Library here on campus to be a very large student success center, including uh, math tutoring, writing tutoring, speaking center uh, for people doing oral presentations. It's also got uh, academic advising center, career services, all kinds of student support services in this one great facility. This location will now be the home of various services that were previously located across campus, all in one place. We plan to have more on this new location in tomorrow's broadcast.